My passion for cars really did stem off my dad. When I was younger, every year, we would always go to my dad's mate's place and watch the Bathurst races. And seeing him enjoy cars made me enjoy cars. I remember my dad would always take me to our local auto parts store, which was Autobahn at the time. Now, Autobahn is a little bit different from your other auto shops. They have like these glass cabinets that display like car parts, even like 15 years ago when I was like 10 years old. And I would sort of like wander off in the direction of the shiny lights and stare through the glass cabinets, looking at all the performance parts, not even knowing what any of them were. It was one of my favorite things to go do with my dad, go to Autobahn, get some brake cleaner, get some oil and look at the performance parts. And coincidentally, that brings us on to today, the new sponsor for the channel, Autobahn. If you've come to some of the meets in the past, you might already know that we've been working with Autobahn over the past few years or so, and we are now officially sponsored by Autobahn. They've already supplied us with this chicane kit, which of course is some of the best tools in the business, and we'll be using this kit um, on some of our builds coming up soon. I feel extremely fortunate for a company like Autobahn supporting the channel and the builds. I know that eight-year-old me would have been super proud, and it's such a crazy coincidence because that is a true story. Our local auto parts store was Autobahn. We used to go there all the time. When we first got into cars, it was also our auto local parts store, but unfortunately since then it is closed. But warm welcome to Autobahn and let's get on to today's video. <laughs> Anyway guys, it's time to work on the AU Falcon. The AU Falcon is currently over here. Have a sus, it's all the way down there. For our first drift event at main track, I put a cage in the car and I haven't been really driving it around since then. So today we're gonna remove the cage out of the AU Falcon plus do some more to it. Stick around, find out. The AU Falcon is coming back guys. Hope you enjoy today's video. There's a few problems that we've had since taking it to the track day uh, at our last Calder Drift event. One of them being the transmission mount, I think, is fried because we hit one of those, what do you call it? Like the gutters? The water barrier. No, 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 oh, the water barrier, we hit that, but like the, the gutter, you know, like the- The ru ripple strip, rumble strip? Yeah, rumble strip or whatever. Yeah, we hit that really hard. I came off track and I hit that and I could feel the bottom of my car go, douche. Um, so that's a problem. And then I've also found out that I feel like there's like a fuel pump issue. For some reason, it's like fuel cutting when I'm driving it. I have no idea why, but we're gonna investigate that maybe as well because I wanna daily this thing. This is, this is a good daily. Bent daily. <laughs> we had a pretty bad incident, as Peter just said, with the uh, the water thingo, water water bucket bar barrel, water barrel barrel, water barrier, water water water. Yeah, we hit we hit it really hard, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, it's not even that bad. The door still opens. Open the door. Open the door. So the cage that we're taking out today, the cage that we've had installed for a while is an AGI roll cage. I had to get this shipped um, express all the way from Sydney before the drift event because I was given short notice. Um, and it's a really nice cage. It bolts in directly. It's not that hard to install, but I've just been procrastinating um, because I just don't want to have to take out the cage. It's, it's a little bit of a pain to like get everything in here, but yeah, it is what it is. Let's begin. Removing the AGI roll cage from the AU Falcon was much easier than I remembered. Ideally, you want a friend helping you out because the cage is very large and it's hard to move by yourself. We needed to firstly remove the collar up at the top of the cage. The cage is also bolted to the floor, so we did need to take the wheels off and remove the nuts holding the cage on the bottom side of the wheel arch. But other than that, it was really easy to take off and I should have done it earlier and shouldn't have left the car just sitting there for months. Okay, it's been about what, like half an hour? Yeah, half an hour too. Yep, that's not too bad. We got rid of all the bolts holding the cage in. Everything's ready to go. You can see the collars have now slipped down. We've taken out the nuts and bolts holding it to the back of the car and then also the ones holding it to the floor of the car. We're now going to try finesse this out. Like I said, it's not an easy job. It's a bit of a pain in the ass, but we'll figure it out, man. We'll work it out, man. Okay, so that was actually not as bad as I remembered. And I think that's because when Ollie and I were trying to install the cage, we were just putting it in the wrong way. The instructions weren't the most clear, but there it is guys, cage is out. And I'm pretty sure we remembered the orientation, right? Yep, should be easy to put back in. I'm counting on you, man, because I completely forgot. Oh, Good luck, shit. everybody. <laughs> but yes, yeah, pretty, pretty easy to remove actually. That only took, that was like under an hour. Yeah. You reckon under an hour? 
Not too bad. Unfortunately now, we've got holes in the floor and everything. Damn! Go drive through some puddles, you won't. No, 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 no. Yeah! Hope it doesn't rain on the way back. The cage is going to go back in the AU Falcon, guys. But before we put the cage back in, we're going to take the AU to get tinted in the rear so that this thing is not so obviously caged. <laughs> I also want tint in the rear too because it'll just make the whole car a little bit cooler inside and it's going to make it look better, so you may as well. So we're going to send off the AU Falcon to get tinted, but before we do that, I want to show you guys our new hoodies. There's only one 2XL left in stock, so this is you're wearing a 2XL, aren't you? I'm an XL. There's a few XLs left and we've got some larges. But guys, head over to bankyspec.com. Got our embroidered merchandise. Have a look at that. Damn. This merch is to celebrate the AU Falcon coming back. We're going to make some more content on it because I think you guys deserve that. You guys want to see that, don't you? you want to see it? Yep. These jumpers are so warm. Ooh and if you guys leave any notes in the orders, I reply to them. I write back to you guys. So. Thank you so much. Hey, it's just my anti-theft device, all right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, I've got like a mega fuel cut problem. It's really bad. Like, I'm just like cruising, like not putting my foot down or anything, and then it starts hesitating so bad. See the amount of smoke that it blows out of your exhaust when it hesitates. Oh, really? Okay, it's just not sparking properly or something. I don't know. Yeah, it's just like black soot. Like, I thought that I had the stinkiest day, you, but no, no, no. All right, we won't be picking up the AU Falcon until about 5.30. It's like 2, what, well, it's 1.30 now? 1.30 now, yep. Yeah, 1.30. There's this special car here that I've never seen in real life that I've always wanted to hear because they have a V12, right? I never thought I would see one in real life. I've seen many. Really? Yeah. I've never seen one. Oh, no, actually, no, I have seen one at a, at a meet. I've seen a couple at a meet, but never on the street. Dude. Century, that is so sick. Good. That is so sick. VIP as, and then we've got an R32 GTR. We got Lachlan's R32. <laughs> That's sick. Hey yo, do you want to see my hectic mod? <laughs> Get myself a coffee. Cheers, mate. What? I'm driving. Okay. Do you guys remember this little nugget? It's not a nugget, it's an egg. Well, we're gonna look at more places to live at. Thought I'd take you along on the journey like I did last time, but Chloe and I are still looking for places to live at. Unfortunately, Peter is gone now. We're gonna pick up the AE Falcon with Chloe and we'll go to the place that we're looking at first. But in the meantime. Don't do that to my car. It's not in sport mode. <laughs> Don't put it in sport mode. Or do. We're about to inspect another place. Let you guys know how it goes. You excited? Yeah. All right, so the place that we looked at, not too bad. Looks ideal, but again, with Melbourne's rental crisis, we're not expecting much. We're probably not going to get it. Um, anyway, <laughs> stay optimistic, guys. Anyway, um, we just uh, arrived back at uh, Tin Co. And uh, we got the AU Falcon tinted. And my God, it's dark. <laughs> Damn, that looks way better. I'll give you a good look around once we get it home. What do you think? Look good? Pretty dark. And just like that, guys, the cage is back in. It didn't really take that long. Probably took about half an hour to put it back in. I got the front of the AU jacked up because I was just checking what exactly was wrong with it. I thought maybe we destroyed the transmission mount when we hit a bump really hard, but I found out pretty quickly what happened. So what we've done basically is we have knocked the catalytic converter and the flange and basically moved the exhaust up really close to the bottom of the car. So, so basically the exhaust is hitting the bottom of the car and it's causing like a weird vibration at low speed, which is not the worst thing in the world, but I want to try and fix it. I want to try and move the exhaust back down. So I can bend this down. Ah. That's a bit better. Not too sure if it's going to fix it, but one of the good things about having the exhaust so high now is that when we go over stuff, um, it's probably not going to hit anything, but we're gonna hear more vibrations, which is a little bit annoying. The next thing we've got to figure out is 
my little fuel cut problem. So we're getting fuel cut now, guys. All right, let's see. Moment of truth. All right. Everything seems okay, which is kind of annoying. Non-submersible hose still looking pretty okay, but I'm gonna take it off to inspect it. I'm not gonna lie guys, I am so lightheaded after pulling this thing. So I'm gonna try to get it back in as quick as possible because breathing fuel in ain't that good for your health. But what I've done is I've replaced this line right here. Hopefully this holds up a little bit better. And um, yeah, I don't know. We're just gonna see what happens. I'm just gonna chuck it in. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. If it does, sick. <laughs> We're gonna test drive this thing. It's so much darker in here because of the tint and hopefully we don't get any sort of fuel cut. Oh yeah, feels way better. Who knows man, who knows? Are you Falcon things? There's always like little things that go wrong with these cars. It's kind of annoying. Like I do drive and abuse this thing hard, but I don't have the, uh, the same problems with the chaser. I mean, I haven't really abused the chaser that much, but they're just Fords, man. This is what I mean about Fords, guys. There's always something to fix on a Ford. Look at this. The car has been sitting in the garage for maybe a few hours. Look at that. That means the timing case is leaking even worse now. Like, it, it was pretty bad when I first got the car. Not that bad. So, it's just progressively gotten worse over time and that's not a small job that's a pretty big job guys it is horrible weather outside i really want to show you what this au looks like currently it's going to be wet but i'm going to show you real quick so this is it this is the new look of the au Have a sus, guys. There we go. So, what we actually did was replace the front bulbs. We've also got new wheels on it as well. I think I showed these a while back. These are my B series gear wheels that we now have on the AU. Everything together looks absolutely awesome. This is like the ultimate street drift daily car, and I'm so proud of it. It's so sick. Boys. It stopped raining a bit, but there you go, guys. There's the new look at the AU Falcon tinted rear windows, cage back in, new wheels. It's looking hot, and I'm super excited to take it out on the track again. We'll probably be going next month or something. We'll see. But you guys will know on the socials straight away. A lot of people in this park. It just stopped raining. We're going to get out of here. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Really appreciate it. And again, huge shout out to Autobahn, new sponsor of the channel. I'm so excited to see what we do with Autobahn. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Love you all. Goodbye. Hang on, hang on. Are you excited? I'm very, very excited. <laughs> I don't know for what, but I'm very excited. <laughs>